born under South Africa's deep apartheid divides, Myrtle Witboy's first organizing work took place in private homes. At an early age, she saw the impact of injustice without representation. In 1967, South Africa was still in the grip of apartheid and domestic workers was actually just depending on women. And because women were majority black women, uneducated, we found ourselves as domestic workers. She began to organize domestic workers in her employer's garage, an act of resistance worthy of imprisonment at the time. Her voice became one of the first public figures to campaign for the rights for this isolated group of women workers. Myrtle organized South Africa's National Union of Domestic Workers, the largest movement of its kind. Make sure that domestic workers are included in your decisions making in your country. Make sure that domestic workers get recognition that their work is decent work. In the new democracy, she posed hard questions to government leaders who ironed their shirt that day, who looked after their children, who cleaned their homes. Challenges that led to the adoption of five national labor laws, including unemployment insurance and maternity benefits. In 2008, Myrtle's impact multiplied as she became the president of the first international organization of domestic workers which played a powerful role in achieving the only global policy for domestic workers, the International Labour Organization's Convention 189, now ratified by 35 countries. Under the global COVID crisis, she led an international process that secured crisis relief funds for domestic workers, literally saving lives and reducing the impact of this virus amongst those on the front lines of care. Myrtle Witboy's life commitment to domestic workers and women's rights has made immeasurable impact around the world in both tangible policy and economic forms and is a magnanimous emblem of social justice worldwide. Her commitment to domestic workers inscribes the highest calling of life achievement as a direct service to justice, peace and solidarity. Domestic workers work isolated from other workers. They actually live alone, they stay in the backyard of the employers. Also, domestic workers are not really protected with social security and social benefits. So that is actually why they still call the vulnerable sector. But we are hoping that changes will come for the domestic workers.